Hi everyone, welcome once again to another tutorial session in bioinformatics. In today's video, I am going to show you how you can install HiSat 2 using Conda. HiSat 2 is a tool that is used for mapping RNA sequences to a reference genome. You can read more about this tool by visiting this page. I will leave the link to this page in the description box. For this tutorial, we are going to install HiSat 2 in a Linux environment. So you need to make sure you have Linux um, installed on your PC. In addition, you should have Anaconda installed. I have a separate tutorial that shows you how to install Anaconda in a Linux environment, so you can just watch that tutorial. The link to that video is in the description box. So we are going to use some commands here. So you can install HiSat2 using this command or using this command. I'll use the first command and I'll modify it a bit. So don't worry, I'll show you everything very soon. So now let's go to the terminal and continue. Okay, so we are in the terminal now and I assume that you have installed Anaconda. The first thing we have to do is to add channels. So I'll add two channels. So I'll say Conda config add channels. I'll add the first one which is Bioconda. Let me add a second one. Conda config add channels and I will specify the name which is Conda Forge. I have added that as well. I can also list the channel that I added. So I can say Conda config show channels. This will list the channel that I have added and I have them here. The default one comes packaged with Conda, so you leave it as it is. Now we are going to create an environment and install HiSat 2 in it. So I'll say Conda create dash n and then I'll specify the environment name. So I'll say HiSat. So what I'm doing is that I'm using this to create an environment and the name of that environment is HiSat. And then I'll specify the software that I want to install in that environment. So that is HiSat 2. So I'll say HiSat 2. So now I'm going to run this command. So I'll type Y to confirm and I'll hit the enter button. So Conda will start downloading the tools that it needs to set up HiSat 2. So let's wait and then see how it goes. Okay, so HiSat 2 has been installed. Let's clear the screen and continue. In order to run HiSat 2, you need to first activate the environment. And so to activate the environment, you say Conda activates and you specify the environment you created, which is HiSat. So once it has been activated, you can now run HiSat 2 like this. Perfect. So now everything has been done nicely for us. So this is how we use Conda to install HiSat 2 in a Linux environment. So take notes of that. In addition to Conda, you can also install HiSat 2 by building from source or by using binaries. And I have covered those um, tutorials as well, so you can just watch them. You can also watch my other video that shows you how to perform genome mapping using HiSat 2. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next session. Goodbye.